Now, more recently, James Biden was accused of offering medical companies special access to his own brother. Joining us now with more is investigative reporter, is the executive vice president of The Hill, John Solomon. John, by the way, also has a big story out tonight about how the president can avoid a GOP fumble on health care. It's at Sean Hannity on Twitter. We'll be tweeting that out. John, let's start with this in the Ukraine. Peter Schweitzer, yeah. I think, did a really good job talking he about did. his son Hunter on Air Force Two. No experience in the hedge fund business either, so to speak. And yeah, gets a huge, massive payday two weeks after traveling with his dad to China. Talk about Ukraine yeah. first. Well, it's very important because uh, D Joe Biden is running in the primary where the Democratic Party says it's against big money, but it is eminently uh, apparent now from the records that are already in the public domain that his family was cashing in while he was the vice president in China, in Ukraine, in the health industry, just about anywhere that they could get their hand out for money. That is going to be a problem, a conflict for a guy that wants to head a party, that wants to make ethics an issue in the 2020 election. Uh, I can report on my own front that these documents you were talking about, we've had some favorable discussions in my lawsuit with the Justice Department and the State Department, thanks to the Southeastern Legal Foundation. I would expect in the next six to 10 weeks, we're going to get the first document showing what the Bidens were doing at the State Department, at the embassy in Kiev. There's going to be some major revelations ahead for the Biden family. None of them are going to be flattered. Okay, that now brings us between that issue and do we know what the status, you had been reporting on the issue of Ukraine, having evidence of them right. admitting that they helped influence the 2016 election. Does it really yep. matter if it's Ukraine or Russia? Does it matter if Obama tries to influence the outcome of the Israeli election and have has his people working against our ally, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu? Um, well, a lot of double standards here, but that's right. On, on the issue of Ukraine, what were they offering the United States in terms of information about 2016 and their support of Hillary Clinton to impact the election? Multiple uh, pieces of information, some related to Joe Biden and his son, some related to the Democratic National Committee's efforts to get help from the Ukraine embassy in Washington to find dirt on Donald Trump, and third, Evidence that, that people in Ukraine sent to Nelly Orr and other uh, people in the fusion GPS world to try to help the Trump uh, collusion narrative blossom in the United States, even though they really didn't have a factual basis for it. Three separate chains of information that the Ukrainian government has claimed since late last year. They've tried to get to the Trump Justice Department, and nobody there seems to be interested in it. Unbelievable. Um, it is. Amazing. You know, it's, they're interested in Russia collusion, but only if it's Trump. <laughs> Not a dirty Russian dossier. Oh, that was used to spy on a candidate, a transition team, and a president. Um, pretty interesting. Full of lies. And, of course, we had premeditated FISA abuse with multiple warnings that yeah. you wrote about. Kathleen Kavlak, Bruce Orr. Two examples. John Solomon, thank you. Uh, make no mistake, Biden is no shoe in for this Democrat.